Spirited Faith and today I am going to deviate from showing you a process video and show you some examples of places that you can illustrate your faith. There are so many options available and I know that maybe it can get overwhelming. Um, so I just thought that I would take you through some places that I illustrate my faith and maybe it will spark you to illustrate your faith in the same places or similar places or finding, helping you to find one place where you can do that um, so that maybe things don't feel so overwhelming. So we're not going to talk about supplies or tools or anything today. We're just going to talk about different ways that you can get into the word and places that you can illustrate all the things that uh, are meaningful to you and that you're learning through being in the Bible. All right, let's get started. So one of my favorite things to do is scrapbook. And I have a personal album that's kind of an ongoing album. And in it, I like to include different um, faith-related scrapbook layouts. So this is one that is special to me. I use pocket pages and I'll include maybe a photo of myself during a specific time in which I'm feeling a certain way or um, thinking or learning about something new or different. And then I'll use digi cards, um, usually from the print and pray shop that kind of go along with the theme of what I'm journaling about. So that's a really fun one. I've done another page too where I can talk about friendships and different people in my life that encourage me. So there's always a place in the scrapbooking world, obviously, to be able to illustrate your faith. So scrapbooking or pocket pages is one option. Another option is a praise book. So Illustrated Faith has a praise book that is filled with gorgeous pages, pre-designed, um, just, they're just designed with backdrops, like, um, paint splotches or grids or just patterns. And then also some acetate pages with these cool, um, paint splatters. So this is a great place if you just want something that's open and free and allows you to um, just kind of make a mess or just do any kind of journaling, whether it's art or, you know, words or anything or, you know, a combination of that. So that's a really fun place to get your journaling in. So this is something that I will continue to fill up and I use certain pages based on the theme or the colors that I want to use and so I haven't made it all the way through all these. Obviously there's so many pages that you could fill up in this book. Another option is to do the devotional kits and each month Illustrated Faith and Bella Boulevard put together a monthly devotional kit and uh, they're available at dayspring.com and they all feature a different artist each month and what I love about these is that they give you some jump starters for you know journaling so like this is the lists by faith by Corey the reset girl and I love that there's just so much space in here so this one is about lists, but a lot of the other ones have an actual devotional where you'll, you know, go through and read a little bit about a certain verse, and then there's a devotional that goes along with it, and then there's room for journaling and art, and that's a really fun place because then you've got it all com combined, all condensed into one little book, and then you can move on to the next month's book. So that is a really fun way to illustrate your faith as well. Illustrated Faith also offers online classes and workshops. So that's something that you could also um, purchase and participate in. And then you can use that as your jumping off point for different um, adventures and different kinds of devotionals and different ways that God's speaking to you. So this is what I've done so far in my revival camp. This is summer camp 
that's put on uh, by Illustrated Faith. And this has been a really great way for me to um, think about things I haven't thought about before. And so it's, it gives you all these different topics and then there's a devotional that goes along with each topic that really gets you kind of thinking about certain things. It's still available. It's a self-paced class and it's um, available for purchase and all the downloads and everything that's happened so far. I think we're on week six or seven. Um, I'm a little behind, but this is a great place also to illustrate your faith. And you can make the, the your book any way you want. You can just staple pages together. You can put it inside of a binder. Um, I chose a hard covered book and then kind of made my own pages by taping some sections together. But you can really do this any way you want, but it's certainly um, a great way to illustrate your faith. A fun new way to um, get all of those thoughts and verses down is the new Illustrated Faith Faith Planner, which is so cool. I have not been able to jump into it yet, but I'm so excited after watching some of Shauna's process videos about um, getting into her planner and how she structures her days and weeks. I'm so excited to get some stuff in here. So this is um, a by month and then by week planner and it has so much room and space for journaling. So like she takes one side of this and does prayers and the other side and does action items. So you could break it out any way that you want. Like maybe Mondays you have a Bible study. And so maybe you make all of your notes on Monday and then, you know, maybe it, it flows in through the week and you do all of the rest of your um, Bible journaling, you know, here in this book. And then just think about what that would look like at the end, you know, of the year, even the end of the month, each week, you could have something completely different and completely new that you're learning about. Um, and, you know, you'd be able to look back and see the growth that you went through. So I really like this idea. So I'm excited to get started working in this faith planner. And the final most traditional way would be your actual Bible. So I have a single column journaling Bible by Crossway and I purchased this on Amazon. They are readily available and um, I know when I got mine there weren't a lot to choose from that had actual margins. So um, I'm starting to really fill this up. So it's, it's obviously got a lot of room left, but I just love um, all of the things sticking out and the kind of the messiness of it all. And I like to go back and just see kind of some of my, um, my more simple entries versus um, some of the messier ones. <laughs> so I'm, this is not my favorite place to journal. And the only reason is because of the, that it's so bulky. So it's, I work better if I have a really flat surface. And since I can't take the pages out, um, I tend to gravitate towards some of my other places for journaling. But there is something completely different and um, kind of freeing about actually journaling inside the Bible on the actual pages. So there's a lot that you can do and a lot that I am starting to experiment with. So I find it really super fun to be in here. And I always look forward to the times that I am inspired to get into the actual Bible for the art pieces. So um, there are so many different ways to uh, get all of those thoughts out and to journal all the things that you're thinking about and learning. And I, uh, I hope that this is something that uh, m maybe you were feeling stuck, um, you know, not knowing where to start even. So you don't actually even need a, a journaling Bible. You could use any Bible. It doesn't have to have margins. You know, obviously that leaves some, some space, but like, let me show you like this one here. So I painted over the whole entire page and then just left the verse that I was working on. I left it, you know, available to, to view and I underlined it so that it stuck out a little bit. And someone might say, you know, what if you wanted the verse that's under here? Well, maybe if the verse that I want to work on is over here on this page, maybe I work on it over here, or maybe I go into my um, 
my praise book and work on it there. Or maybe I do a scrapbook page instead. Maybe if I only had one place to do all of my illustrations, I would probably put in a, a tip in. That, that means you add an, an additional piece of paper and maybe you secure it down with a piece of washi tape like this. Like this is a tip in. And maybe it would just be on the other page or something and I would still refer to the verse that I was, you know, the verse that was covered up. It just depends on what you're feeling and how you're, how you're going about it and what you're comfortable with. So anyway, that is all of <laughs> what I have for you today. Lots of different ways to journal your faith, lots of different ways to get outside of the Bible and stay inside of it. So I guess we can do all of those things at the same time and still be worshiping God and showing him and leaving a legacy about our faith. So I hope that you guys have had a great day and we will talk really soon. Bye.